video, we are going to walk through the steps to set up an Edpuzzle assignment within your Canvas course. So since we have Edpuzzle integrated at the district level, you um, already have it in your course. You may see it already um, turned on in the navigation of your course. If not, you can go to the course settings and turn it off. When you click on that Edpuzzle, it will open up the assignments for that class and you can see the course information and you can also look at grading. But when you are creating an assignment for students, you're going to want to do that from um, an assignment. I'm going to start creating my assignment from modules. So I'm going to put it in this practice module. I'm going to click the plus sign to add an assignment. I'm going to create an assignment and I'm just going to name it Edpuzzle. So now my assignment is created. I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to edit. So I can type any information for students here in my rich content editor box. I can set my points if I need to change my assignment group, how I want the uh, score to display. The important part is at submission type. So you're going to click on the drop down and you want to change it to external tool. And then you're going to click this find a button. The list should pop up and you want to look for Edpuzzle in your list. So I see Edpuzzle, I'm going to click there. And there's going to be a window open up that will link to my Edpuzzle content. Now, if you don't have anything in your content yet, you will need to log into Edpuzzle itself. That's where you will want to add video content, edit your videos, edit the questions within videos, all of that on Edpuzzle's website. So I want to assign this ecosystems video to this class. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click next can change the options here. I'm going to leave on prevent skipping. I'm going to turn on closed captions. You can leave it off. That's up to you. And then once I have everything set up, I'm going to click this blue assign button down here. It's going to take me back to my external toolbox. I'm going to click select and you should see a uh, URL in this box for your Edpuzzle assignment. You can go down here and then set up your due date for the assignment. And once I have it all set up, I'm going to click Save. From the teacher view, once your students complete an Edpuzzle for your class, it will create the class in Edpuzzle and link your Canvas roster to it. You can pull up this assignment and you will be able to see your students. You can use this option to grade. You can look at the questions as well to be able to look at your data from your students. Um, you also have the option to grade in Edpuzzle. That is just up to personal preference and what you would like to do.